Hey everyone, Monster Mike here with Bronco Garage, and today I want to talk to you about bump steer. There's normal bump steer and there's bad bump steer. Bad bump steer is when you have your track bar and your drag link at two different angles. What I'm trying to say is, is they have to be parallel with each other. They have to be the same angle. That doesn't mean they have to be one in front of the other. They just have to be either one on top and one on the bottom, but at the same angle. When they are at the same angle, you'll know it because you can do a really cool test where you jump up and down on your Bronco and you watch that steering wheel. Watch your steering wheel and if it doesn't move, means you have good angles from your drag link to your track bar. All right, now let's talk about normal bump steer. Envision both my hands, one each is a tire. As you go up and down on bumps, your tires are actually moving to the left and to the right. They're not moving straight up and down. And that causes you, when you go up and over a bump, to actually want to correct the steering wheel. That's normal bump steer. But we can actually make that better too. And that's what I want to talk to you about. When you're lifting your Bronco, you want to use a drop pitman arm and a drop track bar bracket to lower the overall angle of your track bar and your drag link. This 1975 Bronco currently has a two and a half inch suspension lift and it has no drop pitman arm or drop track bar bracket. So if they're at this right now, once you put those on, they're gonna come down. Now this is your axle. You're trying to get this angle here less severe so it's closer to the, to the angle of your axle. The more parallel it is to a point, the better you will be able to handle your truck over bumps. Now you can also use a, a riser bracket and that actually takes the track bar and it lifts it up higher at the axle versus dropping it down at the frame. You'll then also want to raise your tie rod so it's up and over the knuckle to match that angle of the track bar. So to test just how much bump steer we have currently, we jacked the front of the Bronco up as high as we could and then we put frame stands underneath it and then we put a, a stop point up against the passenger side tire. Then when we let the suspension droop down, the tire moved away from that stop point two and five eighths inches. So we just got done putting a Heimsteer system, a track bar riser, and an adjustable track bar on the front of this 1975 Bronco. And we did a droop test to see just how much bump steer we actually removed from the entire front end. Well, it was actually really interesting what happened here, because not only did we remove over an inch of bump steer, we also gained another half inch of total droop. So this was really great to see and understand how all these components work together and how they not only reduce bump steer, but they also give you more articulation. All right, well, thanks again, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to check out the T-Rex video and the Heimsteer video. And there's several other ones, too, that can show you just how to get your Bronco to do things like this.